Yo, what's up, guys? Welcome back to the Red Dead Redemption 2. I'm um, sorry. The Red Dead Redemption 2 videos are a little off right now because they're posting weirdly. I don't know. It's something between the PlayStation. Sending from PlayStation to YouTube. I don't know. It's just being weird. But I'll try and get it fixed as quick as I can. But, uh, I've noticed... You guys are going crazy on the channel. I want to thank you guys for that. I got 94 subscribers right now. Wait, what? Five bars, five around the bag. I could do that, but I don't want to. How do I? How do I say no? But yeah, thank you guys for 94 subscribers. I mean, we're supposed to be doing a 90 subscriber like thank you thing. And then hopefully before the 100, I think the 90 one is gonna be uh, expected to. But um, y'all got. Let me see. Let me see real quick. Southwest Florida. Let's see how many views that has right now. 1.5k. It is crazy. It's the second video to hit past 1k likes. The first one was the. Uh, 10 subscribers special for banana eats that video is not crazy but thank you guys that's like amazing i never thought i'd be even at uh, 90 subscribers i thought i'd like stay at 50 but like these last couple of weeks i've been getting subscribers like crazy but i ain't had time to record anything else because as i'm recording this now there should be a funny moment out now or later but still all right sorry about that yeah i haven't had time to record anything else but because i'm trying to finish this game But yeah, let's go. Oh my god! Run horse, get out of here! I shot off his hat. <sighs> okay. Bro, oh, that that carriage scared me, bro. It scared my horse too. My horse was like, bro, I'm done. I quit. I'm out. Like right next to camp too. That's kind of dangerous. I think we need to move again soon. Yeah. All right. I don't know. Let me brush my horse real quick.
top off here. Arthur. Are you busy, Arthur? No, I'm not. Why? Well, I know you think I'm just some effete buffoon. What? A man of words and not of action. Hardly a man at all. Well, I think you're as slippery as an eel in an oil slick, but still a man. Because I think I've... I found something interesting. Yeah? Have you ever robbed a stagecoach? No, never. Well, I <laughs> would have even thought. Of course I robbed a goddamn stagecoach. You know I have. And what's the problem with stagecoaches? The armed man attempting to put a bullet in your head? Not quite. The odds. I mean, is it worth the robbing? Sometimes. I know. But, well, if you'd like to come with me, I can introduce you to a new best friend, and he's he's going to give you all the decent, robbable stagecoaches a hot-blooded degenerate could require. Well, I could require a whole lot. That sounds good to me. So where do we find this friend of yours? Rhodes. Because what can possibly go wrong there? Well, lead the way and we'll find out. Wait, you want me to lead the way to Rhodes? Alright, whatever. You're a friend, but I guess I'll go. You sure seem to have got about around here. You know me. I like to make friends in low places. How the hell you end up down here anyway? I could ask the same of you. I have a few commitments over this way. Some expenses to meet. Expenses? What expenses? Gentlemen's canes and rabbits to pull out of hats. <laughs> Among other things, I had quite a nice little business going for a while. Shares in a gold mining company. Excellent returns for the investor of a certain financial standing. Until, well, that unfortunate run-in with the law. Yeah, that's how it goes. Thanks for disappearing on us during that Sean business, by the way. I've done my part. Each to their strength, dear boy. You know, you boys should really watch yourselves with those two families. This is a small town. People talk. I tried to mention it to Osea, but you know how he is. Anyway, while they're off chasing their pot of Confederate gold hidden at the end of some rainbow, let me present you with something real. So... Where exactly are we going? The train station. The clerk there, Alden, is quite a fellow. Here we are. We can hitch up outside. I'll make the introductions, Arthur. You can rest now, boy. Come on, hang back a bit and let me do the talking. We don't want to scare him off. Just walks right into the door. Don't even open it. He just pff, walks right through it. Like I said, times are tough. My missus is a bad woman. Terrible woman. Wow. They often are. But how's work, Alden? Terrible. Wages got cut again. They reckon they just invented a new horse's carriage will be the end of us. <laughs> They've been saying that nonsense since they invented the wheel. The wickedness of bosses. I know. My comrades here and I are greatly discouraged from the adequate fulfillment of our duty. A discouraged man is no man at all, Alden. No man at all. Try to have the door open. My friend Arthur here has a present for you. That's what I want to hear. Here. Ain't you kind, sir? Call him Arthur. He's one of us, a fellow man of distinction. Okay. Well, this is perfect timing. I think you'll like this one, Josiah. 
it'll be coming south down the river road through Siltwater Strand. Thank you, Alden. Thank you very much. Oh, and Josiah, if you or Arthur are ever out Strawberry Way, ask for my colleague there. Feller called Hector. He's also one of the... What did you call us again? Discouraged men, Alden. That's it. Discouraged men. I like that. Well, <laughs> goodbye, Alden. Or should I say... Adieu. Oh, adieu, Josiah. Yeah. We're not going down. Back down to Strawberry. They don't like us anymore. Down here and there's stuff like that. What the hell was that? I thought you might like to see that pantomime. River Road through Siltwater Strand, he said. Okay. I think I know a good spot to wait. Follow me. Okay, let's go. This way. can be. Seems a lot of the station workers are in on it these days. Earning a pittance, the unions are whipping them up, so they want something on the side. Like he said, there, strawberry, could create a lot of opportunities for a man in your line of work. I ain't sure about going back to strawberry after all that market business. Yep. Didn't sound like you left anyone alive to recognize you, so I wouldn't worry too much. Dear boy. True. All this trouble. You gentlemen are becoming quite the celebrities, aren't you? Soon you'll be on the front of a dime novel. And dead, of course. We're hoping to be long gone before that. Dutch has a plan. If anything goes wrong, let's meet back here at this crossroad, okay? Alright. Should do. Sure. Here. I'm hoping we won't need those. Uh, better safe than sorry. So what were you thinking? Well, according to this, the loot is located in a strong box, which is in the back. I'll put on a little performance, and you can scurry around, open the strong box, and relieve them of their goodies. And how do I open the strong box without threatening someone to open it for me? This should work. <laughs> And I can do this silently? Well, I'm hoping complete silence won't be necessary. But you're going to wish you had your earplugs. This is Damson. Oh, very good, Alden. Very good. Of course, if anything goes wrong, you can wave your guns around like you normally do. Hold tight. They'll be here soon. Yeah, they are. We're on schedule. There it is. Right on time. Let's go. Keep your distance so they don't see you. Please leave that gun in its holster for once. I will. Until stuff goes wrong. I'll ride ahead and get the coach to stop. You hang back. Don't let them spot you or you'll scupper the whole thing.
believe Westerners don't know anything about culture. I couldn't agree more. Would... Could, could you? It's, it's such a small show, but... Would you sing something for me? I, I'm looking for a nice soprano. Sir, I... 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 I don't know. Miss Damson, you owe it to West Elizabeth. Just a regular guy on a horse. Done. It was easy. You did all the work. Teamwork, my dear boy. Teamwork. Here you go. Thank you. Oh, it's always good. Go see Alden from time to time. See you soon, Arthur. Nice. Who is the H? Oh, now we get to go down to the uh, other people. What? <laughs> Let's go. Every day, that's it. I'm gonna knock you up. 
Can't believe that worked. Yeah. You got a plan, right? Sure. Yeah, I, I got it all lined out. So, what's your plan anyway? Plan? I plan not to get caught. Now shut up. Hurry up. Serves him right. Might as well. Yep. Yep. Nope, I'm not gonna try. I was just gonna try and shoot once, but we're right here anyway, so. Hey, fellas. I have a meeting with Mrs. Braithwaite. My associates are already here. All right, that's enough. Move along now. This way, sir. Damn, this place is nice. A gentleman to see you, ma'am. So, your friend, the other liquor vendor. Hello. Hello, ma'am. Uh, Arthur, welcome. We were just playing cribbage. Arthur Morgan, Mrs. Catherine Braithwaite. Nice to see you again. Apparently. So this one, he is big and as dumb as he looks? <laughs> well, he's surely big. But his intelligence is a matter of some conjecture. Some say he is as dumb as he looks, but I think, well, he's not quite that dumb. <laughs> so these are the boys going to Caliger Hall? Yes, we can take care of that for you, but one hates to be coarse. There is the question of money. <laughs> oh, we've got money, Mr. Matthews. Paper, bonds, metal. <laughs> she ain't gonna pay you with a certified check, you Yankee numbskull. Ain't childbirth just the most beautiful miracle on earth? Seems a lady can birth monkeys, after all. Hop on. I'll fill you in on the way. No, I'm driving. Fine. Oh, yeah, we're driving. Yeah, Sean's not driving. Or Sean. Sean's not driving. Let's get out of here. You was quiet in there. Took everything I had. That son of horse. I'll shove that silver spoon down his throat and pull it clean out of his ass. The smug fucker. Okay. So what she got us doing at the Gray's place? She wants us to torture tobacco fields. Said they ain't had rain in weeks round here. What? Yep, using that back there. Moonshine? Burns faster than kerosene, that stuff. Said it'd be fitting, she did. Not I thinking is how about I try fitting my boot up your hook. No, you snotty old bitch. 
Jose really picked the right fella for tea in the manor, didn't he? Ah, he was giving his usual flannel. One of these families got gold stashed somewhere, he reckons. I mean, I'm off for sticking it to rich folks. I hate rich folks. They're really very so bloody money at the end of all this. Jose knows what he's doing. Does he, though? The master finagler of nothing. Easy, easy. So far, we've destroyed the Braithwaite still. Tried to sell the shine back to them. Now we're on this fool's errand, which I'm very much looking forward to, by the way. They were saying old man Gray's double security after that business at the saloon. We just robbed their horses, too. That was you? Jesus. So, we're just gonna drive on in there, is that it? Don't worry. I got a plan. Wagons go in and out of there all the time with supplies, equipment, payroll. Especially now they're taking on all that extra muscle. We're making a delivery. That's all. Just leave it to me. I can talk a dog off a meat wagon. <laughs> all right, then. I don't think so. But if you say so, you know, we'll go with it. What you want, boy? I've... I've... There, there was a thing... A, a, a thing... At the saloon. What you talking about? Well, I'm delivering the supplies. You're not the usual driver. Uh, you want a bottle, friend? Here. Uh, uh, have a wee drop. <laughs> I'm new. I, I mean you no harm. Uh, I, I've come from Donegal. In, in Ireland. You don't say. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they said you'd understand. Some kind of incident at the saloon in town. I was told to bring this up here. Ask no questions, I'll tell you no lies. Uh, sort of business. Uh, uh, before the officials got there, okay, they said. Okay. Drive this way. I'll show you how to get there. Oh, thank you, friend. Uh, have a drink, Sean. <coughs> Hamish. Good to meet you, Hamish. <laughs> uh, fine bit of country you've got here. Uh, not as fine as Connemara, but fine nonetheless. My people come from Scotland. Is that right? And you and I are nearly brothers. <laughs> <laughs> Just over here. Yeah, it's straight down the path here. It's getting so I can barely keep track of all these deliveries coming in. Yeah, and they said they was looking for more drivers in town. I jumped at the chance. I ain't never been a feather to kick a bit of honest work out of bed. <laughs> so, you folks been having a hard time of it, have you? Yeah, Mr. Gray's got a heap of problems right now with another family around here. Bunch of covetous lowdowns trying to sabotage his livelihood. Disgusting. Oh dear, oh dear, I'm sorry to hear that, Hamish. Sounds like you definitely deserve that drink. <laughs> you don't know the half. Just in there. Ah, right you are. <laughs> you can unload it here. In here? 
The horse is like a, a swift one, <coughs> do they? <laughs> Excuse me? Um, nothing. It's grand. <coughs> Quite a place you yeah. boys have got here. Reminds me of one of them big houses there, uh, out in Donegal. Huh. Real fancy place as they was, Hamish. Real fancy, because if some folks got all the money, they can build quite the fanciest places imaginable, eh? Mm. Well, the average man sucks on shite, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. <laughs> you can hold up in here till it gets dark. How you getting on? Good. Nearly got these things ready. Okay. Molotovs. There's plenty of guards out there. Here's how I feel we should deal with things. Boom. You head over to the dry barn. Sure. And you? I'm gonna deal with the fields themselves. We coat everything in moonshine, and then we light things up with these little fellas here. Thankfully, it ain't rained, and that old barn over there should go up like a torch. <laughs> How many of these boys you think you need? They should do it. <laughs> Let's head out the back. Look, once they get wind of us, there'll be no turning back, so move quickly. Of course. I'm rebel stock, boy. I was born born in down manor houses. We'll burn quietly. <laughs> Get this job done first, okay? Yeah, for real. Just let me deal with our friend here. Come on. You douse the fields. I'll meet you at the barn. Try to stay out of trouble. Run, boy, run. I am very sorry, very poorly pouring this. That's good for you. Because all these are going to catch fire. Because they're all so dry. So we'll be good anyway. Come on, Arthur, you need to sneak just a little bit faster. There we go.
I'm gonna let him go first. It's gonna be a long night. Yep. Don't turn around, 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 don't turn around. Don't turn around. That should do it. Why don't you go the other way, sir? Turn around something. George shot. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Run, Arthur, run! Arthur! <laughs> Arthur, we were so close! <laughs> Please tell me I don't need to do that. Oh my god, I need to do the whole thing again. There's someone coming on the left. already arrived this one didn't strange so what you got there tools payroll okay. come on drop it by the supply shed at the back of the fields sure see you later you hear that payroll yeah let's get this job done first okay we'll take care of this fella At the barn when you're done. Showing them fields up good, all right. Keep your head down. Let's go. That's good for you. It is a guard. Arthur, run. Come on, bro, turn around. Should be enough for here. He goes all the way down. I can wait.
he take care of his associates. Come on. I'm a tobacco plant. In a plant. Being a plant. Please don't see me, please don't see me, please don't see me, yes! Did it. Oh no, no. The barn. You gonna take out that guard, bro? Thank you. Or you just a quick dose as well. I thought I had the bottle. It's all it's R2 to hold the bottle. I thought I had the bottle. Please, please, please don't make me do that again. Please don't make me do that again. Yeah, we're good. Or you can just a quick dousing as well. What is he shooting with? <sighs> okay, clearly the revolver isn't gonna do it, so let's get something else. Let's steal some horses from the stables and get out of here. Damn it! No, we got trouble. Take him! This is bloody mad! Like that. They seem to be taking a well. This is a goddamn mess. We're going to win it, him. We're going to deal with you next. They didn't tell you there'd be an army of them? They didn't tell me. Look out. Ah. Ah. Okay. There's more of them. Shit. No 
Now those horses are bolt. That's the play wagon that came in, had horses. Go on, man, lead the way. Look out! Here come on! I got him. Run. There's lots of fire everywhere. Won't let me. It won't even let me cut him. Did not mean to stab it. Let me mount the freaking horse. It won't let me cut it either. Mount! And she's dead. Sean dead. Right? Abandoned? His ass abandoned me! I didn't abandon him! It wouldn't let me cut my horse until he left! Go horse! Fight Dutch has put us into the middle of here. Uh, I hope him and Jose are right and that there's some money at the end of it. Well, what now? Head on back to camp. You coming? 
Yeah. Sure. Yes, I am coming back to camp. Nice. I think that's gonna be it for today's video. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe to on post notifications. I'll see you next time. Peace out.